हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर 17 विजुलाइजिंग सॉलिड शेप्स एंड टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 17.2 दिस एक्सरसाइज इज बेस्ड ऑन पॉलीहेड्रॉन्स पॉलीहेड्रॉन्स मींस द सॉलिड व्हिच आर मेड अप ऑफ पॉलीगोनल रीजन मींस विद स्ट्रेट लाइंस सो व्हाट एवर द सॉलिड्स आर हैविंग ओनली स्ट्रेट लाइन विल कम अंडर पॉलीहेड्रॉन अदर सॉलिड्स लाइक सिलेंडर कोन और स्पीयर will not come under polyhedron because these solids are having curved line again these polyhedrons we can divide into many parts like convex polyhedron convex polyhedron means when each and every polygon is a convex polygon or you can see like this each and every angle you can see the angle if every angle is less than 180 degree then we will call it a convex polyhedron and if any angle is interior angle is more than 180 degree as you can see in this figure this angle is this is more than 180 degree then it will come under a concave polyhedron it will make a cave shape here same thing here this is also making a cave shape so this will come under concave polyhedron then we have regular polyhedron regular polyhedron means when each and every face of a polyhedron are congruent to each other same like you can see the, if it we are talking about a cube all the side this is 4 this is 4 this is 4 this is 4 and this side also 4 4 4 all the six faces are same such type of polyhedrons we will call regular polyhedrons polyhedron mainly we will consider now here prism and pyramid in this exercise two things we are covering prism and pyramid so we'll focus on these first you should know the difference between prism and pyramid in prism we are having base and top and both base and top are congruent you can see here suppose this is base and this is top both are congruent and these lateral faces will be parallelogram one face will be here one face will be from this side to this side and one face will be back side of this but in pyramid base is a polygon base this space is a polygon but all the faces will be in triangular shape and these faces will meet at a point so we have only base top is not there all faces will meet here if the base is triangle then we will call it a triangular prism or triangular pyramid if base is a rectangle if you are taking this as base this as top so base is a rectangle top is a rectangle then we will call it a rectangular prism if base is a pentagon top is also a pentagon then pentagonal prism like this we will give name to this prism same way for pyramid also if base is triangle then triangular pyramid if base is a rectangle rectangular pyramid if base is a pentagon then pentagonal pyramid now these polyhedrons all these faces all these plane surfaces we will call the faces and where these two faces will meet this face this face and this face are meeting here this we will call the edge and where three these edges will meet this one edge this edge and then this corners we will call vertex and we have a formula we have a relation between these three that we will call ehlers formula which is f plus v is equal to e plus 2 f means face plus vertices is equal to s is plus 2 this formula we will use in this exercise now we will start exercise 17.2 question number 1 can a polyhedron have its faces three triangles so we have to check whether with the help of three triangles we can make a solid figure or not so it is not possible with the help of three triangles we cannot make a solid figure we need minimum four triangles for this so minimum four triangles we need for this triangular pyramid one triangle then second triangle third triangle and four triangles so minimum four faces are required below that we cannot make a solid shape so for first part it will be no and for second part it will be yes we can make a triangular pyramid with the help of this
then a square and four triangles yes with the help of square and four triangle if we have a square and four triangles like this we will join then we will get a square pyramid so here yes we will get a square pyramid next question number two which are prism among the following so prism means you have to see the prop and base it should be congruent to each other so in this first figure we have base but we don't have top all these corners are meeting at a one point so this will not come under a prism in second one this is base and this side also we will be having same congruent figure opposite side of pencil then this will come under prism again in third figure you can see we have base but top is not there all these triangles are meeting at a point it will come under pyramid fourth figure this is a box so big box you can see top and base will be the same so this will come under prism next question number three verify eclair's formula for these solids so first solid is given first we will find out its faces vertices and edges faces means the plane faces so one two three and one will be here four and five will be here one top and one base so total seven faces are there for this solid then vertices means the corners one two three four five corner here and same way five corner will be there for base also so total we have 10 vertices then is is 1 2 3 4 5 top 5 will be in base and 1 2 3 4 and 5 will be here so total 15 edges will be there now we will substitute values here and we will check whether it is coming same or not so faces are 7 vertices are 10 so 7 plus 10 17 and here edges are 15 15 plus 2 17 so it is coming same so we have f plus v is equal to e plus 2 it is verified now we will check for the second figure this is the combination of a prism and pyramid so first we will check the faces we have here 1 2 3 4 faces 5 6 7 and 8 faces and 1 base so total faces are 9 vertices 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 1 top 9 vertices then is this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 so we have 16 as is now substitute values here 9 plus 9 we are getting 18 and here 16 plus 2 again we are getting 18 so this one also verified now third figure this is a hexagonal prism bottom is a hexagon and all these triangles are meeting at a point so faces we will count because it is a hexagonal prism so six triangles will be there 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 base so 7 faces are there vertices 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 up 7 vertices edges 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so 12 edges are there substitute values here 7 plus 7 it is coming 14 and 12 plus 2 this is also coming 14 so this one also verified next figure we have a octagonal prism so in octagonal prism this is fourth one you can check figure from your book so faces are here octagonal prism means here eight sides will be there eight faces and one down bottom so total nine then vertices again 9 vertices will be there 8 at the bottom and 1 top 9 vertices and edges edges will be here total 8 down then 8 here it will be 16 
now again substitute these values in formula f plus v 9 plus 9 18 and e plus 2 we are getting 16 plus 2 again 18 so this one also verified so you can see for all the prism all the pyramid and also for the mixed solid this formula is coming correct Next question number 4. Can a polyhedron have 15 faces, 30 aces and 20 vertices? This question we will do with the help of Euler's formula. If these values will satisfy this formula then it is possible otherwise it will not be possible. So faces are 15, vertices are 20, 50 plus 20 it will become 35 and here aces are 30 plus 2 it is coming 32 because f plus v is not coming equal to e plus 2 so this is not possible therefore a polyhedron having 15 faces 30 aces and 20 vertices is not possible Next question, if a polyhedron have 8 faces, 8 vertices, find the number of aces. So here faces are given 8, vertices are given 8. Now we will use this formula. We know E plus 2 is equal to F plus V. Substitute the values here. E we have to find out. E plus 2 is equal to 8 plus 8. So E is equal to 8 plus 8, 16 and 2 you can shift here, 14. It means this polyhedron is having 14 aces. Next question number 6. If a polyhedron have 7 faces, 10 vertices, find the number of faces. So this is similar to up question only. You can do it yourself. Faces are given, vertices are given, substitute in formula and then you will get the value of edges. Seventh question. Write the number of faces, vertices and edges in an octagonal prism. So first we will see an octagonal prism and then we will find out these values. You can see the figure given in your book on page number 282. This is an octagonal prism where base is an octagon and top is an also octagon and these are the faces. So we have here one face is bottom and one face is top and total 8 faces will be parallelly like this. So total 10 faces are there 1, 2 and 8 are like this. Then we have to count out the vertices, vertices, 8 vertices are here down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 8 will be up. So vertices will be 16. Then edges, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 will be like this in a standing way and 8 will be like this means 8, 3, 24. So 10 faces, 16 vertices and 24 edges. Same we will count for the decagonal pyramid also. Decagonal pyramid means when base is a decagonal. Decagon means which is having 10 sides. So 10 uh, sides will be there down and then all the 10 triangles will meet up. So one base will be down 10. You can see it is given in your book also this type of figure. In place of this hexagon here decagon will be there 10 sided figure. So 10 will be there here base and 10 sides will be like this. So one face is this one and 10 faces will be here. So total 11 faces will be there. So faces will be 11, vertices you can count 10 will be here and 1 will be top. So vertices all 11. Then edges you can see 10 will be like this and 10 triangles line will be like this. So 10, 10 total 20 edges will be there. Next question number 8 using Euler's formula find the missing value. So here we, we have to find out you have to use here formula f plus v is equal to e plus 2 substitute values in this formula f is given 6 v we don't know and this is 12 plus 2 14. So v value will be 14 minus 6 which is equal to 8. So same way you can do the remaining questions also.
so this exercise has completed hope you understood these questions thank you for watching this video